Hello everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with the launch of our photo booth kit. When fully assembled, it gives you a 12 and a half by 12 and a half by two inch deep project cover that you can then add various inserts to, decorate in whatever paper you like and create a fabulous keepsake for an event or just a scrapbook. Um, if you're a scrapbooker, or a montage of pictures from various events, or for your children or family heritage that you want to create and keep. So the covers come in two options, just the basic photo booth cover kit. So you get the five pieces of MDF um, laser cut sections that make up the sturdy cover, and they have a recess for three millimetre by 25 mil magnets, the bottle top magnets, or the other option is the complete starter kit. So in that one you get the covers, the two 3mm by 25mm bottle magnet, bottle top magnets, 20 small magnets for layering through your inserts, 20 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock, 10 sheets of A4 cardstock, and two rolls of our signature black construction tape, which is here, that you use to put the whole cover together. And both options come with a really comprehensive uh, digital download instruction sheet that take you through uh, with videos on how to assemble your covers and then give you various options for the inserts to put inside. But don't limit yourself to the inserts that I've suggested. You can add whatever inserts you like to custom your project for the photos and elements that you want to add in. So let me take you through a completed photo booth and you can see what the kit looks like once it's fully assembled. So in its blank state, this is what it looks like. Got the bottle top magnets in the recess, so they sit nice and flat in that cover, which holds the cover together beautifully. And then it opens up to give you, let's just remove this insert, a whole spread. So two 12 by 12 sized spreads for you to add elements to the inside. And this element is for a scrapbookers. So you can put your scrapbook pages straight onto the 12 by 12 cardstock and attach to one of the spines so that you can create a scrapbook element. Or you can mix and match. I've given you options for three inserts. You can mix and match the inserts. So have part scrapbooking, part um, a photograph, montage, spread. Um, the options are limitless. So this is the basic, the nude cover set all put together and here is a finished one. So I've decorated mine in the Kaleidoscope collection from Graphic 45, or this first sample, I'm going to show you three. Uh, when this paper collection arrived I thought it was absolutely fabulous. One of uh, my favourites I think of a Graphic 45s, really fresh, really current, uh, lots and lots of colours and inspirational phrases on the ephemera cards. So I've designed the cover of the kit so that you can take a 12 by 12 sheet and cut it up. This is actually two sheets. So one covers the left hand side completely and then I've cut out part of the second sheet and matched it so that you get that fabulous picture straight across the front of your photo booth. But again, loads and loads of options to alter this project however you like. And I love the elephants all marching across the bottom. And it says a sequence of endless possibilities strung together into uniquely beautiful kaleidoscope of colour. And then inside, Lots of places to start adding your um, photographs. So it opens up with various options. So on this side, I've put insert A. So the instructions give you all of the details to cut the basic, um, ba the base out of your choice of cardstock and then the paper size to cut. So it's not specific to any paper collection. So um, 
you can take your own choice of papers, follow the instructions and just cut your papers to add to the surfaces and then add in all your own flip flaps, depending on how many pictures you want to put together into each of the sections. So I've taken one of the large ephemera cards here and a button and thread closure and that just holds the two flaps of these two sections together and when they open out there is a whole load of areas I've added pockets here to pop your photos on however you want to do it um, you can put them in I created a pocket here but you can just have them laid out so that area could just be one event and then that one folds up let's leave that up for a minute and the bottom one folds out in the same way so I've added the border strips here and just created pockets to tuck things into and then that closes down and does up with the button and thread closure. And really, I've taken the black and white as the base for everything. I love that black and white check. And also it's featured around all of the ephemera cards as well. So that's the first flap of section one. And then flipping over, you have got a really nice back of those two sections to pop your details on. And then on this side, I've got a lift up photo holder with a button and thread closure that folds out, little pocket in the bottom. But again, you can create any element. It is just folded pieces of card decorated with paper. So there is no limit on how you fold your paper and create your own add-ons. And then that top flap folds up Let's just move this down. And then at the bottom, I've added a pocket on this front section, which also folds down. I'll show you that in a minute. And the top section lifts up, and I've used an ephemera card there as a flap with the beautiful blues and greens in that peacock paper. I love how that coordinates together. And the nice thing about um, decorating this is you can split your paper pad so you can mix and match papers on both of the sections that you're adding if you're creating these fold out sections or you can just have a, a complete um, mix of colours you can decorate it however you like. I did use the whole uh, 12 by 12 patterns and solids 12 by 12 collection pack the 8 by 8 pad and the ephemera cards to decorate this sample. So quite a lot of paper, the areas that you're decorating are quite large. So you can't get away with just one pad of say 10 sheets of paper. You need at least 30-ish 12 by 12s to be able to decorate all of the surfaces. So just a little um, heads up if you're wanting to create one of these projects. And then I've taken the borders down here. Um, this is scored so it lifts up. So whatever you're popping into the middle, uh, you've got room for this to raise as you fill up underneath and on this underside. And again, all of the how-tos are included in the instructions. So opening up this side flap, this is um, insert A. We've got a nice fold out section here that allows you to pop pictures everywhere, <laughs> however you want to do it. You could even make that into a really nice scrapbook page. And then a large area in the centre, again, for montage or scrapbooking or whatever you want to put in there. So Insert A has the capacity to hold a huge amount of elements. And then these side pieces fold over to complete it. And then sliding across, we've got insert B. You could put two insert A's, two insert B's, an insert C, which is the scrapbook option, um, and, and mix and match them however you like. They will all fit into this deep two inch spine. So this section is a box section. It's got a five eighths of an inch box element at the sides or maybe three quarters actually this was my prototype so I built this one and then uh, really thought about 
were the dimensions right and did we need to make it slightly bigger and I did make it slightly deeper. Um, so the second one I'm going to show you has got the changes in it and of course I've written it and had it cut with all of those changes taken into consideration. So this one I've done a fold out photo mat on the front with this fabulous peacock detail and actually if we just flip that like that you can see I've sort of taken the blues as my theme for the front facing areas of the photo booth. So we've got a nice fold out picture here or picture holder that does up with the button closure to keep the page closed and then opening up let's slide it down from the top we've got a nice area at the top here to add your pictures into and again I've added a pocket across the bottom so that we can slot things in rather than stick them however you want to do that I've just got ephemera cards here so I, you can see how they go there's also room to slot something under that little tab at the top the back of the ephemera card and then another area here for your pictures and you can get I think it's two six by six side by side on that one and then that folds up and there's another flap underneath again I've taken the zebra border strip and added that to tuck things under but your design will be um, limited by your imagination or unlimited and then at the bottom this side uh, bottom flap folds down so again a nice area to put something and then we've got let's just lift that up and then I can show you all of this bottom section so again we've got a lovely area here for pictures again I've used the borders but you could create whatever you want on there and then here we've got I've added flip ups on the front of these fold out sections and then they fold out and fold out and look at that I mean what a fabulous area to be able to put all of your pictures all together in an amazing display and then it folds over, folds in and folds down. And then they fold out that way as well. And then the whole bottom section folds down. And did these lift up? I think they did actually. I put little magnets under those and they lifted up as well. And that creates those little hidden spots that are always fun to find when you're looking through something. And really easy to do, just folded pieces of card and there are magnets hidden under here and on here to hold them closed. So that folds down and then the centre section, whoop, let's flip it up, it is a huge, huge project and one that you could fill up over a period of time. And then these side sections fold out, you can make it a pocket underneath each of those elements and put your pictures down here and then a large centre area again for more inserts and look how all of those gorgeous papers go together Diane and the team this is an amazing collection I absolutely love it and interestingly I, I occasionally make things for the children and both boys now have girlfriends beautiful girlfriends and Harry's girlfriend was 21 and she'd seen some things that I'd made and she said she would love something to put pictures of their first six months together in. So I made her one of these in this paper collection for her 21st and she was absolutely blown away with it. Really loved it. And then Oliver's girlfriend gave me a whole bunch of her photos and I said she absolutely loves printing off photographs and keeping them. She is a real memory, a memory saver and a memory creator. And I said to her, choose your paper collection. And she chose this one. So I've done two of them for each of the girlfriends and they absolutely love them. So that is it. That is my kaleidoscope decorated photo booth. So let's just close it all down 
and shut it up. And then I'm going to bring in one that's uh, I decorated in the Love Notes collection. These actually were road tested at my craft retreat, my weekend craft retreat in April, and quite a few of the ladies made them and absolutely loved them. Whoops. And went away with a gorgeous binder for their memories. So this was the Love Notes one that we made. So it's slightly deeper now. We're into the two inch. This is the dimension or the depth that I settled for. And we've got the bottle top magnets in the cover. Look how well this, oh, and that one sheet of paper just cut so that it runs across the whole of the cover. And then look how all the colours go together in here. So I've changed some of the inserts on here. I've brought this panel down so that it actually, with a button and thread closure, keeps the whole of that front flap closed. And then we've got the same on the other side, but in a vertical, rather than a landscape setting. And then I really have matched all the colours, so everything coordinates. And I did that by splitting the paper pad. So let's open this one. So this one just folds up. I've added a little pocket here, a little ephemera card in there. We've got a little sticker on the front. It opens out. And I've made some of my paper clip clips and used the paper on those to add little clips into the sections. And then the whole of the top of that one lifts up. Again, we've got the ephemera card in the top there. And then down at the bottom, I think we've got the little pocket. Lovely. I love the piano notes. This reminds me of Curtain Call, which was the first Graphic 45 paper collection I started with many years ago. So a little pocket there. That folds down. There's a lot of whizzing up and down with this. I'm so sorry, but it's just so huge. <laughs> And then we open out, and again, this has got um, a scored section here so that it will move as the centre section gets filled up. And it opens out. Look how beautiful all of that looks. This would make a fabulous wedding album as a keepsake. And then I've added the little clips here onto the ephemera cards. That whole flap lifts out. There are magnets under there just keeping it closed. And then a lovely area to create a montage. We've got the border strips here, the big centre section, which would make a fabulous layout section. Oops, I didn't do that one up. And then let's move across. I've added little pockets here on the back of this joined page with the stickers and then flipping over This holds the two pages together. Got a nice little fold out section, pocket on the front. Lovely patterns and solids cut for that spread. And then leaving that open, the top opens up and folds down. And the bottom one opens up as well. And again, these are hinged so that they will move as the underneath fills up. And when they're done up the right way, they close. So you could put any closure on yours. And then let's just lift that up, lift that one up. That one sits underneath and that one sits on the top because that one has got the height to take the volume from underneath. And then sliding across, if we undo this, same as before, side opening section, lovely area for your pictures. And then the top flap lifts up. I've put ephemera cards on this one that fold down and lift up. And just, <laughs> I think we were talking about that at the retreat. You can create little pockets there to pop things in if you want to. I mean, the options really are endless. And then there is another flap that folds up. Let's do that one. 
here it is let's just pop these another flap that folds up at the top and again you can put edgings or just keep it flat the centre side flaps fold out on this one so I haven't put ephemera cards on the sides here I've just left those plain but on the inside we've got two waterfalls let's just move it up again done up with the button and thread closure and one flips upwards and the other one flips downwards so I haven't counted up how many pictures you could put in this but it must be getting on for 80 I would think but you can add slots for as many as you want to add in depending on your project and then these I've just done them as just little fold ups and they also fold out so they're double sided on there with little magnetic closures to hold them closed and then again we've got this bottom flap that folds down and the inside bottom flap folds down as well and then you've got a little pocket under there or a large area to put portrait sized pictures on and the big scrapbook area in the centre so huge a huge number of options for this project to create an amazing keepsake and then it all folds up let's just do these up or a family heirloom and with the MDF covers of course it will stay really sturdy over time and it won't bow like the chipboard covers can do sometimes. So that was the um, Love Notes one. And then we do have one decorated in bloom. So again, in bloom, another gorgeous collection for a wedding. Or birthday is this one. Whoops. <laughs> They're not done up. I think we decided that actually this button and thread closure, um, if we're not adding magnets to keep these two closed, that should sit over the joint so that it just holds those two flaps closed. But it's all trial and error. And having made three of them, I think I sort of did the bloom, um, the bloom one before the love notes. So we were mixing various options. So again, lovely flaps and pockets on this one that raised section the borders in the collection are ideal for doing these raised side sections and then opening up I went blue and pink on the front and then my favorite combination of the purples and greens inside so flip out there this one has got those two joined double pages fabulous wineberry page that is my favorite color ever and it coordinates beautifully with the violets on the back there and then this section did exactly the same as the previous ones little pocket here fold out section on the front and then the two sections open up top and bottom and look how well all of those papers go together and then the whole thing when it's folded up properly come on Terry get a grip folds up like that and then you can see that lovely blue and pink spread and then this side I think I did it exactly the same as the love notes one so we've got the fold out section the lift up top section let's just whiz it down a little bit and then we've got the pinks and greens on the front there we've got the fold outs at the top the little clips nice pocket section another lift up section the side sections here have got the ephemera cards on and they create a little pocket underneath here when you stick them down nice large center section and then at the bottom we've got the fold down inner section the fold out side sections that do that 
love, love, love that. Little clips. Little clips are so useful. And then this large bottom flap that folds down. And then when the whole thing goes together, it does up really nicely. Oh, I haven't put the side flaps in. Pop the side flaps in. And again, this is insert B, the box insert. You just do it up like that, and then it all folds up into a really neat little box. So I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough. I'll put links to um, the products, the starter kit and the cover kit below, and the paper collections that I've used in the project. And um, I hope I've inspired you to create it might be daunting, but it's a large project that you can create step by step following our really, really detailed instructions with videos, which we always love. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with new projects and products as they come out.